everyone welcome back to sweet yellow house i just wanted to give a quick update on our new series i've had a myriad of issues with my computer so we are going to start that next tuesday project one is i still am not over this i just loved it so i wanted to make a couple of more to go around some vignettes in my home uh, for fall decorating so i had these two small green planters um, and they don't have holes in them at the bottom so i really didn't want to use them for uh, fresh plants because i've tried that and they um, keep dying on me so uh, i just decided to use them for something else so just like last week um, i cut some slices out of this um, a grapevine wreath and made sure that i filled those planters with some um, oasis and just um, inserting those branches on either side of that and on one of them I crisscrossed and I made two so one of them I did crisscross and then the other one I just put one over um, over top so it's really that that simple just putting the branches over top to kind of make a globe shape and then um, after I got those in place I used some of the uh, U picks uh, for uh, decorating, floral decorating, and held those in place in the moss. And then I used my glue gun to kind of cement those down in there. So once I got those where I wanted, I just started um, using my glue gun to uh, put the moss in place and just covered all the bottom so you couldn't see the oasis anymore. Um, then I just grabbed, uh, like before, just, I just grabbed a bunch of florals from around. You don't need very many because these are kind of small. So you could just use, you know, odds and ends of what you have. And that's basically what I did. I just kind of gathered um, little bits and pieces uh, from other projects and, and um, decorated those so this is how they turned out and I'm excited to kind of decorate um, these in other areas of my home that I don't maybe have a lot of space uh, to put big big stuff in so moving on to project two um, this is my inspiration piece here I had this two tier plate tray. Um, I don't even know how long I've had this. It's just been kind of floating around my house for years and years. Actually, that's the truth. So I just um, took it apart and thought, you know, I can kind of make something out of this. So I had some uh, thrifted uh, cake pans in three different sizes. So. I took the bottom out because at some point it had gotten wet and was kind of like crusty and so I just decided to remove that so I'm not really good at centering things so the way that I do it is I just make um, a template and then cut it out and then I, I fold it in half and then I fold it again in, in to make quarters and then I just uh, make a little snip at the tip so and then that makes it easy for me and I just use it um, as a template and so I made three um, different ones for the three different sizes that I had here and I just then use that and I put it on the inside and just grabbed a marker um, and made sure that you know it fit in there nicely that way I could make sure that it was centered and use use my marker so after I got those marked and um, I took them outside and I used my drill and I drilled some holes and here what I'm doing is I'm just um, seeing if everything fit if it's if it's coming together the way that I wanted it to so now I'm gonna take it uh, back apart and I'm gonna take that outside and I'm gonna use my bare um, matte black spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint those so once uh, those are drying and they I, I think I let them dry overnight but now I want to replace the bottom of that um, um, stand piece so I just cut a piece out of the foam and if you when you trace around it if you trace uh, and you kind of make an impression with that pencil then the um, 
the cutter just kind of follows that line a lot easier instead of fighting it so it was really easy for me to go in and kind of cut with that box cutter because um, it just kind of fell in that groove so now I'm just kind of cleaning the edges up there with a really um, coarse um, file and I just fit that down in there um, to make sure that it fits snugly because I didn't glue it or anything I just pushed it down in there so now I want to cover that so I just grab a piece of some I don't know what it like burlap and I think I took a piece out of this um, I grabbed um, a tablecloth that was made out of this uh, on sale at Hobby Lobby and stuff and you have been using it for bits and projects and stuff so once I got that glued down and then I just cut around it to trim it right to the edge and then went back and just made sure that everything was glued down tight um, so that it wasn't going to come loose so I just wanted to do that because it puts a finishing touch on it and doesn't you know scratch up your table or whatever you put it on so now what I'm going to do is just put these all back together and for some reason uh, I always try to put the wrong one on first but here I got it back and I'm just putting it together so um, the top piece here I figured out what the hole was a little too big so I just grabbed a little washer and put a washer on top so that way it would um, fill that hole a little bit better so I just um, got that all screwed down it worked like a charm and I'm super happy with it I, I think it came out great and I'm excited to um, decorate with this um, I think I'm I'm gonna do some my Halloween decorations with it because I think it looks great so um, just a reminder we do have a patreon account if you all want to go over there and become a part of our patreon family and we have a lot of behind the scenes um, footage that you might be interested in so project number three is this is my inspiration piece and this is what I'll say about that that was my inspiration piece but when I started in on the project and it you know it just evolved and it doesn't even look like that so <laughs> so I know somebody's gonna say well it doesn't even look like your inspiration piece but you know when you start a project you intend on one thing and then it just goes completely left into something else so um, I grab my molds and um, just start making some molds to cover the outside of that frame and I'm looking uh, at this point I decided that I really wanted to kind of make uh, you know kind of embellish that frame into something fallish so I use this mold and I also use the um, acorns and stuff in the horse and hound molds and I just went around the whole thing it wasn't super embellished but it was enough to give it a lot of character so once I got it kind of where um, where I think I'm happy with the pieces I need to make then I just start gluing those down and I just do that with my tight bond glue it's you know you've everybody uses this glue it's a really great glue I'm I've never been disappointed with it at all so I was super happy um, I've always been super happy with the way that it holds things into place so so I get those glued down and I'm just doing this kind of um, this kind of arrangement on all four sides um, as you'll see and once I let those dry completely I take it outside and I spray paint that with my bare matte black paint and um, let that dry overnight so now I've kind of decided that I want to make like a little pegboard for my desk with this so I cut a piece of foam core board that I think I had left over from like the dollar store and I want to cover that of course so I grab a piece of some um, batting like quilt batting um, and I just cut it to size to make sure that you know it's I didn't wrap it around the edges I just kind of put it on there and then cut back the um, the sides as you'll see so I just glued this down with my um, Gorilla Glue gun and then I took my fabric scissors and just trimmed it right close to the edge um, of that 
Once I had that all trimmed down, I grabbed that same burlap tablecloth and I cut a piece out. Um, and I'm going to put that down and I'm gonna glue it and this one I am gonna wrap all the way around the sides each side making sure that I'm doing those corners and then I do the long sides to me it just makes a neater look in the end so I am gonna cover the back so after I get this all glued down I get that same um, burlap and I cut a piece so that I can cover the back and it looks nice since this frame has like that chicken wire you're gonna see it so I want to just make sure that it's finished off nicely with that so once I get it cut down to size I just get my glue gun and I just pat that down and, and put it down and it looks nice and finished that way so here I'm just testing to see if it fits in there nicely and snugly and it does so I'm super happy with that so then I grab a piece of a drop cloth I believe I got this from Harbor Freight and I cut a piece out of there and I'm gonna grab my IOD stamps um, and I think this one is uh, typesetting and the other one was harvest orchard or something like that I don't know I forget it I, I it, it's there you know so I grabbed that um, and I put, uh, I'm just kind of measuring to see which pumpkin fits better and the small one fits well. So I'm using that and I'm just kind of arranging to see what I want. And at this point, since it's a little bit smaller um, surface, I, I'm just gonna put the word fall on there. So right now I'm just kind of layer, uh, layering and kind of seeing where I want everything just to, kind of give me an idea stamping makes me a little nervous because I'm not great at it and this is actually the first time I've ever stamped on fabric so I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do with that so I have seen a lot of other people uh, stamping on fabric and they say when you do that to make your stamp really juicy a lot of ink so that's what I did and it worked out really well I I, I would say that advice is is great great advice so I put that down and then what I do is once I get that into place I get my mask because that pumpkin is what I want in to be in the front and everything else will fall behind it so I put the mask down over the pumpkin and then I start stamping all my other stamps that I want to do so I put this cluster of leaves here and um, that came out really nice too. Uh, fabric is actually easy to stamp on because it kind of grabs it, so you don't have a, you don't have to worry about it like kind of slipping around, which is great. So and then I'm just putting my fall here and inking that up, and I'm just going to put that on top. That actually is going to um, look like it's behind the pumpkin as well because I still have the mask on there, and I will put the extra the other L on there in a minute I'm just need to remove the extra letters so I don't accidentally get those stamped again and that's basically all there is to that that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be I was pleasantly surprised with that so um, then I decide that I want to go around my frame so I grab some DIY uh, white wax and I'm just putting that on fairly heavily because um, I want to bring that uh, all those details and stuff out so I just put it on and then I wipe it back nothing nothing super special about that but it does bring out all the details of those stamps and I mean the um, molds and I was really happy with that so I put the um, the insert in place and I make sure that I glued down the fall piece I put a little bow for the pumpkin and I actually made I got these little um, leaves at the dollar store I think last year and I glued some little tacks to the back of it and then that way I can use these as little um, note holders on that when it's sitting on my desk and I think it came out really adorable I'm just gonna put it in a little like this in a little um, plate holder on on my desk and have it sitting there I just think it's super cute and adds a lot of character so 
project four, I'm going back in with the paint inlay. I, <clears throat> the reason why I did this again was because I really want to get comfortable with it. So <clears throat> this actually was a piece that I had painted uh, several different colors and I, I've had it for a while and I've never really known what to do with it. The front of it had uh, like engraved like recipes so I have like covered it with textured paint and this and that trying to get that out of there for, and for the most part it did so um, I was really happy with the way that the antique sign from last Friday came out and I just really wanted to try so I grabbed the same pieces that I used last week and um, I put uh, I use those on this project so um, I put down the paint and put the inlays in and wetted it down and then I left it to dry um, and you want it to be completely dry I'm you know I'm guessing that is the process for the paint kind of the inlay kind of adhering to the paint that's down there so um, I set that aside and let it dry completely and then when I went back to it um, I missed you missed it again and this is so that you can pull it up and if you have any resistance you can just mist it a little bit more and pull it up so um, once I got all that up and I was happy with that I got my big top and just like last week I had my little spray bottle and I um, in my spray bottle I put half big top and half water and then um, just use that to spray a top coat on so that you're not reactivating and smearing that um, in lay around so when you get done spraying uh, then usually what I do is I'll just put a different top on on the bottle part and then I'll spray some clear water clean water through the sprayer part and set that aside and then that way I could always go back and use it over and over again so I had some of this crackle medium and I put it on there thinking that it would give me some really great crackle and that the antiquing wax that I'm going to put on after would really like soak into that. But honestly, it didn't do anything. It just, I don't know if there was just so much else going on that it just didn't do it. So uh, I don't know. I, you know. Maybe I used it wrong. I, I don't I don't know. So. I want to use this as a little, I just thought this would look really cute as like a little mail box drop, you know, you put your mail from the week and then, I, at least I do, I always pile up my mail for a week and then at the end of the week I go through it and see what I need to throw out and what I need to take care of, so um, I thought uh, I'll just put this as a little mail catch, so I used my IOD stamps and I put the word mail on here and I didn't um, make that really dark because again I wanted to look antique so I grabbed uh, once that was dry I actually went over that uh, mail um, lettering with the spray again with the big top and let that dry so that way when I go to put the antiquing wax on it and I forgot to show that here but I did do that I sprayed it with the antiquing with the um, big top and the water mixture um, and let it dry so that I wasn't going to smear that ink around so I grabbed a little bird um, mold from my IOD stash my mold stash and I just gilded that and put it on there at the top I just thought it, it made a little interesting um, detail there so I was happy with the way even though my crackle didn't work I was still happy with the way that that turned out so Project 5 is <clears throat> a project that I did a long time ago, but I've never been happy with it. I, I have never liked the way it looked. It almost looked like so perfectly done, almost, if I can say that, um, that it just looked fake. It looked manufactured. So I didn't like it. I just thought it, even though there was a lot of variation in color, it just ran flat for me. So... I went ahead and covered it again with um, some black acrylic paint and then I went in with my DIY white wax and I just went over the whole thing. When I painted it before, like literally, I had like three or four different shades of gray and black and it was back and forth and um, 
you know, all of that. And then it just gave me something that I wasn't interested in uh, anyway. So I really wanted to this to look like it was something that had been sitting out in my garden. So after I got the white wax brushed on and wiped off back to where I liked it, I grabbed my decrepit dust and I just put that in there. I wanted it to look like it had been gathering dust and dirt from being outside and I have to say now I'm a hundred percent happier with the way that this turned out and um, I think that it looks great so I'm gonna insert a little picture right here and this is gonna be Tuesday's um, project for my new series just giving you a little sneak peek so Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I look forward to seeing y'all on Tuesday.